what I am going to say this evening may sound a little repetitive, but I think it needs to be said. From a refugee colony in Calcutta to the left bank of Paris, with eight dollars in his pocket to study art, what, what would you call it? Foolishness? Stupidity? Or was it a passion for adventure which drove him to France? Even today, in spite of his amazing success, he is still driven by his sense of dedication, passion, and above all, a love for humanity. And to see markets differently, his mind continues to conjure new ideas, and now he's coined another one called the Jalebi Management. In his book, which, he, which we've just launched, he uses the simplicity of a Jalebi <coughs> to rein in all the complexities which business faces today. The whole focus is on managing people, understanding their psychological and social needs. He very craftily uses anecdotes and thus eases the heavy burden of reading management books, which are normally dry. And one goes through the book, there are interesting insights of art, history, and philosophy. The core of this Jalebi management recipe is the blend of the oceans of humanity with industry. The message is clear. Know your people and learn to meet their desires and their dreams. The world of business with the ever-growing rings that form the Jalebi culture <coughs> The jalebi is so simple and tasty. The simplicity is its biggest goodwill to make people understand. As a jalebi needs time for fermentation to make it crunchy and tasty, so does an organization need time to develop, change, and innovate to change the world. He stresses that in line with the business mantra of today to go global, one must understand that every country has its own jalebi. He recites the discovery of his French jalebi in a fine Parisian restaurant called La Serre, but so different from the Indian jalebi. He is emphasizing that there are so many complexities and differences in the cultures of the world, and he's sending us a message saying, do not ape them. For the Western systems, according to him, are not in resonance with the, with the culture of the developing world embracing millions of people. In his book of nearly 450 pages, he devotes over 100 pages to what he calls high-voltage customer sensitivity, the core and the focus of his thinking. 